The Olden World Written by Tsar Yoshi Chapter 364 Thank You Valet sat at the edge of a balcony overlooking the mercenary compound's central atrium, her hooves folded on the railing. The ponies around her minded their dignity and honor and didn't rush her down with gifts or request to tell her how they knew someone from the tunnels, but from the respectful nods and thankful smiles, it was impossible to miss how they felt. <laughs> she chuckled to herself, her cutie mark giving the barely perceptible tingle of being surrounded by powerful ponies who could fight, but didn't want to. Hey, Burrow, say something philosophical or insightful. Iron Flanks isn't here, and I think this moment needs it. Iron Flanks? Uh, Gerardo caught himself, looking ashamed. Miss Maple is a regular partaker in philosophic discourse? I didn't know. Valet swished her tail, forelimbs presently unable to be waved. Fine, not philosophy, insightful, sensitive, you know what I mean. Gerardo touched the corner of his eye. I'm afraid I don't, but <clears throat> how far we've come to get to this moment, no? Generic, but it'll do, Valet sighed. This feels weird, and nice, but really weird. I have never, actually never had an entire port of ponies who are actually happy with me and glad to see me, let alone completely chill about it. And not because they're in a jam and think I can bail them out, just without me doing anything. Like... She looked at the floor below, ponies idly milling between tables. What do I do with this? As a professional receiver of heroic attention, while wandering the lonely corridors of the world outside civilization, such are the memories I find myself most useful to hold on to. That is to say, do absolutely nothing whatsoever, which you presently seem to be doing. Valet didn't look back at him. Yeah, yeah, but... That involves doing nothing. I get restless with stuff like that. I guess that's my problem, though. What a... Uh, she blinked. Yeah, I have no idea what to do now. Bosk, Drado shrugged happily. As I said, occasions like this call for doing nothing at... Hey, you two. Darkwind appeared behind them with a stealth of a seasoned veteran who no longer knew how to walk normally. Did you want to take a look at the nursery? I know the idea came up earlier, so I spoke to the mayors on staff, and they have no issues with you coming by. Though, well, I'm not sure what you're going to find there. Right now, we have a lot of falls, so it could be chaotic, but you're probably good at handling chaos. Why not, I guess? Valet shrugged. I mean, I think we're just visiting, right? So, if you want to show us around... Darkwind shook his head. No, that'll be Harshwater's job. Kira didn't use second-in-command, so we've had to put a new leadership to... The Kira didn't use second-in-commands, so we've had to put a new leadership system together now that he's gone. And someone who spent a lot of time around him, I've turned out to be important. So I'll be taking this time to check up on other things. Making sure everyone's getting along and looking into that plumbing incident. Those kinds of things. I'll be back if you need me. Looks like you've got me again, Harshwater pranced up, regally tossing her mane. Narkrin says you want to see the nursery? Gerardo tapped the floor. Anywhere you recommend, actually. We are humble visitors who lack an itinerary, after all. Yeah, Valet stretched, leaning back and flaring wings. Nursery or no nursery, pretty sure it's not going to contain any major clues about what Moonglass Care left us. So just take us somewhere really cool and... She yawned. Awesome, okay? Somewhere epic, huh? Harsh water smirked. I know just the room. A sparring room, Gerardo remarked, sounding pleased over the faint noise of clashing weapons and grunting ponies. Interesting, although it does look somewhat disused. They stood at the entrance to a long, rectangular chamber with a low ceiling and padded walls. A few benches and empty racks lined one edge, along with some first aid kits and a water fountain that was so well used a bar to activate it had half fallen off. The room was big enough that probably a dozen close-quarters bouts could have gone on at the same time, but as it was, only one pair was fighting, an earth pony practicing with a shield against a pegasus darting with an untipped lance. The lights had been dimmed yet again from their emergency state, and half of the room was in such darkness Valet probably wouldn't have been able to see it if she were a normal pony. Eh, we had bigger priorities when unpacking after he tried to leave, Harshwater shrugged. Some ponies like staying in shape, or fighting for fun, or whatever. 
Ah, I was hoping there'd be a bigger battle going on we could watch. Boo. Vully. Flex your forelegs. Are you asking me to go mix it up? I don't see any of those flash gloves, and the lighting would give me a pretty nasty advantage. Harshwater's eyes went wide, and she visibly shuddered. No! Oh, no, I never want to fight you or even see you fight again. Unless you're on our side, but still. Uh, she looked away. I'll talk it up big when the others are around, but between us, I might have had a nightmare about that fight. Just one, though. But you're scary. I was hoping we could watch other ponies fight. Not everyone at our company is crazily strong, but those who are... Oh, Vully blinked. Whoops. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, you weren't one of the ones I messed up real bad, were you? Sorry, there were a lot of you, and it kind of blends together. You shoved me into a wall, harsh water front. I tackled you when you were going up the elevator and trying to hold you, and when I couldn't get away, and you did something to my vision, and... Uh, she shut it again. I don't know, but I'm not fighting you again. Fully shrugged. Oh, bad. Yeah, the weird vision with shadow sneaking messes ponies up. Comes with being two-dimensional or however it works. Want me to do it again? Getting used to it is the best way to be cool with it. I just said no, Harshwater snapped. But thanks. I had something for you, by the way. Hold on. She reached into a storage chest next to an empty weapons rack and pulled out a familiar stout black flash club. Here. Vili blanched. Oh, bananas, I hate these things. Harshwater shrugged. They're useful sometimes. How many times have you ever fought a bad pony? Never. Vili stared into the distance, suddenly reminded of a time high in a frozen tower when she had faced one she very much wanted to fight, and shook her head. We hadn't either, Harshwater said. You never have to. It's useful to have an edge. Vili snorted, taking the club and turning it over. Yeah, probably. Meh. These things are like, couldn't you have used a weapon that would be just a little more useful for me to steal? These things make terrible clubs. We needed all the edges we can get, Harshwater protested. You're strong. We thought we were all going to die. Yeah, well, same to you, Vili muttered, looking away. I didn't exactly have a good time either, and I usually like fighting. Thanks, though. I guess. I'll keep this around just in case. It sounds as though it was a regrettable encounter for everyone. I suppose the only resolution is that Herman is dead and we all survived. Valet exhaled. Assuming Herman gave them the job, which I'm hearing nobody actually knows? Something like that. Meh. Hey, we should fire some bosses together sometime. Harshwater hesitated. Agreed. Go. Cool. Valet leaned back, watching the two battling ponies go at it, both oblivious to their spectators. Eventually, an idea crossed her mind. So, hey, you guys are from Yakakistan, right? Boss to us. Harshwater shrugged, also watching. Why? Well, Valet looked away. This might be totally random and out of nowhere, but have you ever met or heard of a pony bear called Navare? Navare? Harshwater's face crunched in a frown as she thought. I don't know. Maybe? I don't think so. Why? Oh, nothing. Fully kept her voice as light and nonchalant as possible. Just wondering. I've got an old acquaintance from up there who's called that. Figured you might have ran into him. But if not, that's cool too. Harshwater bared her lips, picking at a tooth of a feather. Sorry, I can ask remembrance, but don't know myself. She says she hadn't forgotten a single thing that happened to her for the last however many years since her husband didn't make it back from a mission. Changed the name to that and everything. It's half creepy and half sad, but really useful at times. If we've ever ran into a Navarra, she'd know. Any idea what they'd look like? A dude, Vili frowned. Don't remember his species. He was pretty dishonorable, so probably not the kind of dude to deal with if I'm reading your group correct. Huh. Harshwater nodded. Well, if I see any dishonorable dudes, I'll punch them good for you. That's the idea, right? Valet folded her forelimbs. Something like that. The sounds of battle slowly dwindled in the background, and when she looked up, the two who had been practicing were packing their tools away, jovially congratulating each other and strolling off side by side. Harsh water stuck out her lip. Well, it's just us. Nursery, I guess. Or we could go look for remembrance. Gerardo gave the training room a regretful glance. 
Well, now that we're sitting here with nothing to do, he twirled a talon. I'm starting to feel like indulging us in an earlier offer for a rematch regarding what happened in the Flame District. I do recall you offering as such, and informing me that you were the one I dueled upon the lift platform before being tragically appended by a blow while my back was turned from someone else. Harshwater smirked smugly. I recall meeting you fair and square and you asking for a rematch. But sure, but I can be the referee. You want to fight me? Hey, Birdo! Valet tapped the table she was sitting at. I'm not carrying you back to Skyfree, so try to stay cautious this time. And knock yourself out! End of chapter 306